multiplication and division really are the same thing, but they're just the opposite operations. We're going to use the exact same picture. Okay, so we use the same picture to multiply as we do for division. The difference is when we are setting up the multiplication, we have length times width equals area. So here's my length. Here's my width. Here's my length times width. And there's my area. So when we rearrange this, we end up with area is equal to length, sorry, the length or width, we'll just call that width, is equal to the area divided by length. So if I have want to divide 6x squared by 2x, I won't need to arrange the 6x squares so that it has one edge of 2x. And then the answer ends up being the other edge. So here it is written here. So we start with area, we divide by the width, we get the other length. So if I were to show a model for this, so 4x squared divided by 2x, I need to start with areas of 4x squared. So I have 1x squared, 2x squared, and I need to do it such that one of the edge lengths will be 2. Well, this is easy because I can, either way I do it, I'm going to get an edge length of 2 here. So I'm going to have 2x's here. Those are my 4x squared. And this represent this side length and represents the answer. So we can see clear in their picture that the answer is going to be 2x. And again, the same rule applies. It's numbers with numbers and the variables with variables. Okay, that's going to give us the, those different parts. So in here we can we can draw this out first or we can actually work this out. We can work this out as the answer is going to be 2x. <clears throat> 10 divided by 2, x squared divided by x. We if we were to draw the picture of this, the area is 10x squared. And we know that we have 5x along one edge. So we're going to have 5x's along one edge. And I need to be able to fit the 10x squared in groups of 5. And I can do it in two groups of five. So then the answer then works out to be the other edge here, which is my two axes. Okay, so this represents, the blue represents the solution to that division statement of those two monomial terms. Now we don't really need to be drawing pictures for all of these, but it is again important that you understand the area the the area model for multiplication and division because when we start uh, encountering things that we're not familiar with we need to make sure we go back to these area models and make sure it makes sense with these area models now it's nice to have each individual piece so we can count you know the back here if i go back a little bit here okay if i have the two times four i can see that each area, each piece, and I see eight elements of the X pieces here. But after a while, it kind of gets a little bit redundant to draw every single piece of area. And we want to generalize these areas and use what we call a simplified area model. So instead of showing three X squared pieces along the one edge, two X squared, we can just say that we have three X squared, 2xy cubed and knowing our rule here we we can say that well this area one piece of area although there's six elements in there we know because there's three times two we know this one piece of area is going to have a shape of x cubed so x squared times x and y cubed so there's my variable part now if i want to show each individual piece of this i can do it like this i can do you know a length of x squared x squared, x squared, there's going to give me my 3x squareds. I can say that I have xy cubed, 
x, y cubed. And I can show my six area pieces of x cubed, y cubed like this. Okay, so we can simplify this a little bit and show each individual piece like this. We can see that this the six boxes here represented the numbers times numbers, three times two. But we want to start being a bit more efficient with what we're doing. So when we do this, we can use our simplified area model. Instead of showing each algebra tile, we're going to just do 3 times 6, x squared times x, and then the y cubed. So the same thing we can say here. We can say that we have 132 xy cubed. There's my area. Remember that this is area. Okay, so I'm just going to write my answer here. This is 6x cubed y cubed. This is my area. Okay, this is going to be my, I'll make that my width. So 12xy squared. So I know that this other edge length is going to give me my answer to this division statement. So I can just divide numbers with numbers. So that's going to be 11. 132 divided by 12. X divided by X's are going to cancel out. Okay, in fact, I'm going to do it up here. We're going to end up with 11. X's cancel out. And then Y cubed divided by Y is Y squared. It's just one Y. So we're just going to be left with 11 Y along this edge. Okay, and maybe I'll do that in a different color so we can see maybe where these pieces are coming from. This is going to be 132 divided by 12 is 11. X is cancel. We're left with 1Y. So there it is. Here, I'm going to multiply this out. So negative 22 times 3 is negative 66. X squared times X squared gives me X to the power of 4. Y cubed times Y cubed gives me Y to the power of 6. Okay. And so this is going to give me a length of negative 22. negative 22 x squared y cubed this one piece and so we're just going to group it all together as 3x squared y cubed and then we get our area is a product okay and again if we were to write show all 22 pieces this way all th three pieces horizontally we can show 66 individual pieces in here Again, we want to start simplifying things and being and compressing some of our work so that we can do it more efficiently. And so we can use this simplified area model to give us negative 66 x4y6 and we can just represent it as one piece.